tank shells were the first explosive weapon that AOAV recorded in Syria, and they've been widely deployed within villages, towns, and cities. The T-72M is the largest and most sophisticated battle tank that Syria has, with at least 1,500 of them in the country's stockpile at the start of the conflict. The main gun of the T-72 fires a range of shells. One common shell is the OF-26, which is more than half a metre long and weighs over 20 kilograms. There are tank rounds that have a high explosive fragmentation warhead. The original intention of the design was to keep infantry under cover, to uh, attack soft targets, to attack bunkers and the like, rather than other tanks. This is a round that explodes above the ground, so it has a set time fuse on it. It has to be fairly accurately prepared to hit your designated target. But of course, if you're letting them loose in populated areas, you're sending this three or four kilometers, and it's exploding in the air, and it may be above soft targets like houses or cars or people. The opposition has also used these powerful weapons. The Russian exporters of the tank and its shells boast that the thousands of metal fragments from this projectile can kill or injure anyone within 520 square metres, an area similar to the size of London's Trafalgar Square. The company that makes these tanks made half a billion dollars profit in 2011. You would never use that in a populated area where you felt civilians were going to be in danger.